Midjourney is currently testing version 6. If you're just stepping into the world of Midjourney, you may not realize, or remember, the incredible strides Midjourney has made since its first version back in February 2022. It's a whole new world from version 1 to version 6. I'm often showing you how to use the latest tools in Midjourney, but today let's take a step back in time. I'm sharing some of my favorite prompts and a few new ones. Let's see how they look in different versions of Midjourney. Each version has its unique vibe, and you can use whatever version you like. You've got options. Version 6 may be awesome, but maybe it's just not your luck. Maybe you like the magic of version 3 or version 4 better. Don't be afraid to experiment across different versions to find your perfect match. If you're new to Midjourney or haven't explored the different versions, open the Settings panel and you can select from version 1 to 6. The default is currently version 5.2, but it will soon switch to version 6. Version 6 is stunning, but it may take a bit of getting used to. In this video, I'm going to give you 20 of my favorite prompts. And if you're looking for more Midjourney prompts, check out my new ebook. Let's start with a few prompts exploring liminal space. This is a place of transition, sort of like a hallway. It's an open concept with many interpretations. Add a dream component. or see what the AI does when you add conflicting instructions. Vaporwave is a colorful digital art style inspired by electronic music and is heavily influenced by the 1980s and 90s computer graphic design. This prompt takes all that color and takes it in a darker direction. In addition to the current version 5.2, remember that you can also prompt for version 5 and version 5.1. And adding style raw will also change the look. Psychedelic is another favorite art style that's a riot of color. This crazy cartoon zombie is one of my favorites. It always makes me laugh. This next prompt starts out normal enough. A colorful cowboy. But then it takes a turn to the world of secret societies. Apocalypse art showing a dystopian future is one of the most popular styles in AI. But let's add a bit of whimsy with a Christmas abduction. Each version of Midjourney treats the story a little differently. And now for something straight out of the Terminator. You can really see the details improve over the versions. Let's lighten the mood a little with this prompt. It calls for a portrait, and sometimes that's what you'll get. Or you'll get a beautiful landscape. But it's in prompts like these that really show the evolution of Midjourney. People and features were very rough to start. But then Midjourney got the hang of the human form.
tell us which version you like the best in the comments below. Prompts don't have to be that long. Let's take a prompt from the natural world. This is a real species. And here's what the bug really looks like. And how the AI draws it. None of the versions are exact likenesses, though version 6 is kicking the realism up a notch. But I can't help liking version 5.2 a lot for the creative fantasy element. And now for a prompt that's all style. And I'll take it all the way back to version 1 for comparison. Version 4 adds a lot of text, and version 6 has all the detail. But just for fun, let's put these last two prompts together and see what magic happens. Let's prompt for an artistic mashup of styles. Each version of Midjourney knows more artists and is better at combining the styles. The mashup doesn't really work before version 4. Let's use this artistic combo in a prompt. If you're looking for more artist combos, check out my latest ebook. I love playing with Blueprint as a stylistic prompt. Let's add some detail. And an artistic style. The look is one of natural beauty. but I can't help loving the more fantastical landscapes of version 5.2. Prompt for version 4, and the look is more illustrative. And version 3 is much more minimalist. I'll end with two of my favorite prompts that I picked up somewhere. Mr. Schmeagel and Co. as Surrealistic Dinosaurs. See if you can guess the version before I show it to you. And how about vintage photography meets 21st century technology? With a little twist. Guess the version. This one might be a little bit harder. There's no doubt that detail and artistic flair has improved with each version of Midjourney. I started Midjourney using version 3 and thought it couldn't get any better. It did, but I still miss some of the version 3 vibe. Play with these prompts and your other favorites, and let us know which version you like best in the comments below. This is Jen at Making AI Magic. Let's make something amazing together.